Hi, I'm Steve Trithel with Sessions Group here again at World Headquarters. Today I'm, I'm visited with Pete Muccio, an association attorney. Uh, Pete, last time we talked about board meetings and issues that go on outside the board meetings. Um, I got a question. A lot of owners today uh, are trying to rent out their space. Take us through some of the issues in dealing with tenants. Well, you know, a lot of associations have rules for dealing with um, owners who want to rent out their space. Uh, some associations absolutely prohibit owners from renting out their space. That's not necessarily the best policy to have, though, because if an owner can rent out their space, they can do more with their space than just live in it. I mean, there can be situations like you're talking about where an owner might not be able to live in the, in the unit. Maybe they move out of state, um, if they do something different. So they have an opportunity to do something besides selling the unit, they can rent it out to have a tenant in there. So oftentimes it's good for an association to allow rentals to a certain extent. An association has to balance the interests of owners who live in the unit with owners who are acting as investors. Um, there can be concerns in condominium communities as far as financing eligibility, whether or not uh, the association is still going to qualify um, for uh, FHA-backed financing. Um, there's also an issue as far as enforcement of rules. The tenants who are occupying the unit have to follow the association rules. So there's, there's a lot of challenges that an association deals with when they're looking at renting out units or allowing units to be rented out. And it's interesting, I said renting out units. One thing that is very clear, HOAs do not make good landlords. What an HOA should do is they should encourage an owner to be a good landlord. So when an HOA is looking at the rules that they might develop regarding rentals, um, it's good to have a balance there where the association is encouraging responsibility for the owner to be a good landlord because ultimately if the tenant has a problem, that's going to be the owner's problem as well. And it could be an association problem. So clear communication of what the association's expectations are from the owner as far as the owner being a landlord is absolutely critical. Well, Pete, as always, your input is invaluable. And in the words of Pete Muccio, homeowners associations are as good as it gets. Join us next time. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Thank you.